Um, so my name's Melanie Taylor. Um, we live in Collins Park in Stithians in Cornwall and I live here with my husband and three children. They definitely have an awareness of environmental matters. We recycle, we get them to help us to sort the recycling and things like that. Um, they're really um, aware of when like litter's been dropped on the ground and things like that and that it can cause problems with wildlife. So yeah, it's great. I think they're gonna be our champions. So at the moment we've got um, oil um, heating our water for radiators, just standard radiators. Um, we have, since we moved here six years ago, we've changed every single window in the house. We've insulated our loft. Um, we've changed all the radiators to have thermostats. So we've done all of the measures that we could do um, ourselves to mitigate the costs of our rising energy costs. There's, there's no point in having a beautiful home if your, you know, your windows are leaking out loads of <laughs> energy. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, we had looked into ground source um, heat pumps before, but um, it was cost prohibited and we decided to um, do the solar on our roof and our solar eye boost instead because we thought we would get more money, you know, more payback from that system rather than the ground source at the time. We couldn't afford to do both, so we had to choose. Because our system hadn't sort of failed on us, even though it's very elderly we hadn't got to the point of really deep delving but when we had the opportunity of the heat of the streets in our village we knew that actually that was the system that we would dream about owning but we didn't have the um we didn't have the spare cash to be able to buy it that would that was our dream system and when this came along it was an easy yes to to get involved with it because ultimately that's what we would have loved to have been able to afford all by ourselves I think some people are cautious. Some people are super keen like we are. <laughs> so you've got a real mixed bag. But I think the community in general, they would love to have it in more places, but obviously that's not possible. Um, and I think the people who are in the, who are lucky enough to be in a selected area, I think if you're not in that area, I think they're quite envious of the fact that they've missed out. Um, so yeah, I think overall the village is positive, but I think more people would have loved to have been involved. My career is accountancy. I looked at the service charge, I put it in an Excel spreadsheet and I, I worked it through and for me the math stacks up. You know, it was just over £9,000 for, for 20 years and I felt that that was good value for money. It absolutely makes sense um, to spread the cost and we know what we're going to be, you know, we'll know what we're paying every year um, and it's just like any other direct de monthly direct debit that you have, we'll just pay for it over the course of time and I think that's a really reasonable way of doing it. It is a little bit intrusive into your day-to-day -day life because you know they're drilling, drilling holes that go down 120 meters um so it is going to be noisy for a few days mm -hmm. you know so you've got those just those little things that although you absolutely want the end product you don't necessarily consider them when you say yes about how you know how are you going to feel with a drilling rig outside your house for a couple of days and then it moves a couple of street doors up and you can still hear it but it's just part of the process I'm looking forward to getting rid of my oil tank, which is I look out of my window at um, in my, from my lounge. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting rid of that um, and knowing that the ground source heat pump is going to be installed and it's going to really complement the solar that we have. Um, it's just going to be a really big leap to reducing our carbon footprint and I think that's really important for our future.